Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Satyaki and I always make informative videos about Europe. So today I met Akash. So Akash here in Germany almost a year and he came to Germany uh, through artificial intelligence study program and after that he changed his education from artificial intelligence to data science and now he is doing a very good student job as like a data analyst. So we make this video with three parts. First part, we will cover up that how he came to Germany uh, through artificial intelligence program, which university he chose, what are the criteria, education fees. Second video, we will discuss about the data science programs, which university he is pursuing right now. And last part, we will discuss about the student job contract as a data analyst, how he find a job. So before start of video, I would like to uh, ask you a small introduction about your educational background, please. Sure. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Uh, so previously in India, I completed my electronics and communication bachelor of technology degree. Mm -hmm. After that, I worked in TCS as a support engineer for two years almost. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I felt like I have to go to Germany for higher studies. So uh, could you explain a little bit of how you have decided like how about your journey from India to Germany? Like why you decided to come to Germany? And, uh, about your like why you choose artificial intelligence so just sure so let me break down the the motive to come to germany in two parts first of all uh, during covid 19 time uh, mm -hmm. i and my father used to browse youtube what are the um, higher education opportunity uh, abroad in cheap and best quality of education mm -hmm. then we found germany that the public universities are almost free and there are some nominal semester contribution so there, this was the first motive. Then the second motive to choose the artificial intelligence because since I was my electronics and communication, but uh, what I found that in future there would be more opportunities in data science and AI field. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just wanted to be part of the booming opportunity around the world. Fine. So uh, which university you enrolled in that time for artificial intelligence? So at first I enrolled in Degendorf Institute of Technology mm -hmm. that is not in Degendorf actually in Kam campus. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. And uh, could you uh, explain that a uh, little bit uh, like what are the criteria then the percentage they required and the admission procedure in detailed way? Yeah, so in, in this course, since the course was pretty new, I mm -hmm. think three or four years old, so there were not so much uh, requirement for GPA, mm -hmm. but they had an uh, entrance test. So whoever is applying, they have to pass that in entrance test uh, to get the admission. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I prepared for that. So because. what are the admission tests like could you tell us like uh, the mathematics or any kind of like special pro uh, subject you have to pass? Yeah, program. once you once you apply to Degendorf Institute of Technology, once your profile is selected, they send you an email with the details of the test, mm -hmm. and there will be a sample test paper. Okay. So from that sample test paper, you can see at that at that time it was uh, engineering mathematics mm -hmm. and. Uh, electrical engineering and uh, and other other technical subjects like actually the course was mixed type of course ai plus uh, sensors technology so they also test you the knowledge about about the sensors about little bit of ai and basic uh, technical stuffs okay and is there any cutoff marks like uh, maybe yeah there should be some cut of marks but it was not revealed to the students mm -hmm. so actually the secret in that university was uh, since it was not that much the old or reputed course at mm -hmm. that time so I actually my guess was whoever applied and did a quite good job in the uh, exam mm -hmm. almost everyone was selected okay but you have to be on the top top okay and Another thing I would like to ask you that um, many people are asking the question about the English proficiency test. So which English proficiency test you have given, IELTS, TOEFL or PT? Uh, yeah, I given the IELTS exam. My score was pretty good, uh, 7.5. But what I can say, many university, it depends on the university, many, many university ask for the medium of instruction. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it depends on the university you are yes. applying for. Okay, so that university asking for IELTS or medium of yeah, instruction? Yeah, actually it's to be on safe side. Uh, I actually given the IELTS and that university also asked for IELTS. Okay. 
and now I will ask you that about the fee structure about this university like what are the fee structure the semester wise like I, it is a public university they pay yeah. these minimum charges nominal so, charges yeah there are two parts I would like to mention first mm -hmm. is the when I got the admission it was 62 euros per semester for the second semester it was 65 euros okay. but I think from now on if you go to that university you have to give 500 euros per semester it's so increased now. Yeah, it's increased uh, because of maybe of inflation and um, there are some problem to get some funding from the Bavaria government like that. I also heard that. Oh. So I don't want to make this video lengthy. I know sometimes one video like long video make you feel make you people feel boring. So to the second video, we will cover up that how you can change your university. So second video, we will discuss about the university change procedure, how you can change your universities and the admission criteria for data science. So thank you so much who like and subscribe my channel and those who didn't please do that because your support motivate me to make more informative videos. And if you have any further query or something else, you can directly comment to my comment section or follow me to my Instagram and message me to my Instagram. And whenever I have a free time, I will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much. Be safe.